He's been on the bed since 2017 without the ability to walk. It was an accident. He lost his tibia, he broke his waist, he broke his right femur, and presently at risk for septus. He did two major surgeries already in Nigeria, but it failed. And right now, the bones have been affected. He's going to lose his right leg, if not attended to on time. He's pleading to all Catholics worldwide, non-Catholics, to support the trip to India, to remove the implant on the leg and to do a bone grafting. With the help of 1,000 people who would make a donation of at least $20, he can get this surgery done. He needs more prayers than ever. Will you help him walk again? Will you help save his legs from being amputated? There was a link on the description of this video and also on the first comment. Please use the link to make donations to the FundMe account that was created on us behalf. And if you can't find this link, just type on the comment section saying, please drop a link and you will get a response quickly. God bless every hand that makes a donation. A message from our Lord Jesus to Enoch, on April 9, 2017. Please make sure to help share this message to at least one person. God bless you all. Urgent appeal from Jesus of the Blessed Sacrament to humanity. My children, may my peace be with you. Your passage through eternity is ever closer. When you arrive, you will be judged by my Supreme Court and you will know how much you have loved and served and how much you have stopped loving and serving. When you arrive, your guardian angel will be waiting for you, to take you to the Hall of Justice. My mother will be there, interceding for you in the company of the blessed souls. After the trial, my angels will take you to the place that corresponds to you according to your sentence. A small minority that can be counted will go to heaven, the vast majority of humanity will go to purgatory or hell. My children, once again I say, feed yourselves as much as you can on my body and blood, so that you are strengthened spiritually and your soul can resist the passage through eternity. The purifying fire of purgatory awaits the vast majority of my children and the burning fire of hell awaits this ungrateful and sinful generation. My children, purgatory is a place of purification where those souls go, who are not completely in communion of love with God, and their brothers in this world. It is divided into three levels, high, medium and low, and at each level, there are different places of atonement. The high and middle purgatory are places of loving purification, where souls suffer because they are not in the presence of God. The first purgatory is visited by my mother and my angels, and she, my mother, is in charge of raising the souls to heaven when they have finished their purification. The second purgatory is only visited by my beloved Michael. He is the guardian of souls and descends to this place to bring souls to the first purgatory on his feast or whenever God's divine will so provides. The holy intercession of my mother for souls causes many to ascend to heaven and others to be delivered from eternal fire. The third purgatory is a place of blazing fire, a fire of purification that burns all evil and sin. There the souls remember all the evil and sin they committed 
and all the lack of love that they had towards God and their brothers in this world. It is a place of darkness and purification, where souls struggle with the demons that made them fall and almost lose. The souls who in this world were separated from God and lived in sin go to the third purgatory. However, there was someone praying for them, or they reached the point of asking for forgiveness before dying. Or were devoted to my mother and wore her scapula, or the power of my mother's rosary or of my mercy for the souls, reached them so that they were not lost forever. I want to tell you my children, that the masses and works of charity that you do for these souls in the third purgatory, alone will serve to strengthen them in their spiritual struggle. These are the most needy souls in purgatory, so pray especially for them. These souls need much prayer to be able to purify themselves and to ascend to eternal glory. My children, heaven, purgatory and hell are spiritual places where souls will stop after transit through this world. I want to clarify this, they are not states, they are places. Just as you occupy spaces in this world, so too in eternity, with the difference that the spaces are spiritual, created to house souls. Heaven is a spiritual place of love, peace, joy and fullness, in the company of God. Purgatory is a spiritual place of loving purification or purifying fire. Hell is a spiritual place of torment and fire that burns, and is not extinguished. Where the souls that rebelled against God will stop. I explain all of this to you so that you become aware and you know that in eternity there are no states, but places. My children, if you are in mortal sin, I ask you to think again, stop sinning and return to God as soon as possible. I tell you this, because if my warning catches you in mortal sin, your soul will go to hell and from there, very few will return to this world. Only those sinners who have repented and want to change their lives will return. They will be given the opportunity upon their return to take up the path of salvation and to move away once and for all from sin. Those who do not repent before my warning will die. So, think again, rebellious children, for the day of my warning is coming. Your teacher, Jesus of the Blessed Sacrament, make known my messages to all mankind. We have now come to the end of the message. We are pleading with all viewers to help increase the reach of this message by sharing it immediately after watching it. God bless you all.